Hello friends, today I will discuss the mixer brush tool in Adobe Photoshop. Here is the mixer brush tool. Here you will find the brush properties. Here is the brush load. It's clean now. Here we can load and clean the brush. Click on the load brush. It will load the foreground color. Click on the clean brush. The brush will be empty. By clicking here, we can also load the brush with the color picker. Here we can change the loaded color. With checking the load solid colors only, Hit the Alter button plus click the left mouse button on any image. The brush will load the solid color from the image. Try another solid color from this image. We can also load any solid color from an image with the color picker. Now by unchecking the load solid colors only, hit the alter button plus click the left mouse button on any image. Brush will load the pattern from the image by cloning. Here is the brush tip. Here is a brush stroke with the pattern. Try loading the pattern from another image. Now I am going to change the load to 31%. Load the brush. See, the brush is empty after drawing a stroke of short length. Now set the load to 9%. Load the brush. The brush will load a small amount of color. After drawing a short stroke, it will be empty. If we load 100%, the brush will never be empty. Set the load to 26%. Draw a stroke. After 26% color application, the brush is empty. Now reduce the brush size and load again. With the same load percentage, a small brush will contain less amount of color. You can check this option. Load the brush after each stroke. Now draw a stroke. The brush will load the color automatically. With 26% load, draw a short stroke. See, the brush is not empty yet. Draw another short stroke. Now the brush is empty as it already used 26% load of the color. You can also check this option. Clean the brush after each stroke. Now draw either a short or long stroke. The brush will be empty after each stroke. Here you can change the flow of the brush. With 100% flow, draw a stroke. Here we can't see the brush tip. In the brush settings, increase the spacing. Now we can see the brush tip. Reduce the flow percentage to 29%. You can see the difference now.
Here you can change the weight percentage of the brush. Set the weight level at 13%. While you set the weight percentage above 0, you can change the mix percentage. Load the brush. Paint something. Change the loaded color and brush over it. Here you can see the mixing of two colors but the weight level is low. Now set the weight level at 51%. Set the mix level at 86%. Load the brush. Paint something. Change the loaded color and brush over it. Now you can see an excellent mixing shade of three white colors. Here you will find some presets. Select dry. Here weight 0%, load 50%. Try to mix two colors. But there is no mixing as the colors are dry. Select weight heavy mix. Try to mix two colors. You can see the mixing of two colors. Thus we can use other presets. Very wet light mix. Here wet 100%, load 50%, mix 0%. Very wet heavy mix. Here weight 100%, load 50%, mix 100%. Here you can change the smoothing of the brush. Here you will find some smoothing options. Here you can change the angle of a brush. If there are multiple layers, you can check this. You can sample all layers. If you have graphics tablet, you can use this option to change the brush size with pressure. That is all I have for today. Thanks for watching.